Hi, welcome to another empties video. I'm gonna try to do a new thing. So the Pure Bear It All foundation that is officially going into the garbage. That foundation sucked. <laughs> Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. The sample size was so small, it wasn't enough sample to actually do a full wear test. That's annoying. Estee Lauder Double Wear, same thing. Both foundations, the Double Wear and the Clinique Stay Matte, were not ge generous enough to do a full face. The, both of them separated within a few hours. Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation, that was a hit. That was a winner. It lasted me the whole day. It really did last over 10 hours. It didn't crease. It didn't fall apart. It didn't get too oily. It was just perfect. Um, Too Faced Born This Way. And on my skin, it was kind of like garbage. Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Essential Face Toner. It was nice. One of the t main ingredients in it is witch hazel, and I think that's why I liked it. I think that it's just kind of a witch hazel plus, and I don't really need the plus. It was nice to use, but it's not something that I would go out and purchase. I need to buy a real camera. So in my last empties, I had the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm, and I thought that I was replacing it with the same thing in a mini version, but it actually, I had the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, and I liked this way better. It was just wonderful. It was very moisturizing, more moisturizing than the Aqua Balm, and the lemony smell was much lighter in this moisturizing balm. So scratch the Aqua Balm off my wish list because this one is the one that's going to be on there. I end up with a lot of these samples, this Mario Badesco Enzyme Cleansing Gel. And about a year ago, I purchased the full size. I still haven't opened it because I had so many other things to use. And having the sample size made me want to buy the full size. I also have another sample on backup, so needless to say, yeah, I would repurchase this. This is my fourth favorite cleanser, I would say. The only reason it's not in the top three is because it does make my skin a little bit thirsty. Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, I got this as a either a point perk or something from Sephora. I really liked it. it. I also have the Wish Coconut CC Cream. This adds a bit of shimmer to your legs when you wear it in the summertime. And yeah, in the summertime, I would repurchase this if it wasn't my no by year. This one smells wonderful and gives your legs a shimmer. The Wish one, it smells okay and gives your legs more of a shimmer. So the Wish one is more shimmery. This one is less shimmery, but this one smells so good compared to the Wish one. But I'm not allowed to buy it until I finish up the Wish one. Boom Boom is off limits. I had this in my last empties too, the Physician's Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. This is my favorite eyeliner. This is my last of it, so today I'm wearing Cole pencil eyeliner that I don't like at all. I'm using up what I got. And this was a surprise. This was something that was in my house already when I moved in. And my boyfriend, because he loves the dollar store, had this natural white sensitive toothpaste from a dollar store. I'll only use Sensodyne. That's my toothpaste. Because my teeth are super sensitive and I didn't trust that anything else would be good enough. Well, this one, the taste is very, very mild. If you hate the taste of super minty toothpaste, this is for you. I like the taste of super minty toothpaste. But if you don't like it and you prefer something more mild, this one is much more mild. It is a dollar at the dollar store. I can honestly tell you I used this solid for a couple of months until it was gone. I used this whole tooth tube by myself with no help from anyone. I used it religiously and the sensitivity protection in it, for me, was just as good as the Sensodyne. That was a real eye-opener for me because I spend a lot of money on Sensodyne toothpaste. And now that I'm back in the States and I can get it at Costco, it's affordable. But when I was buying it in Europe and buying it in Canada, it's expensive, but this, this really, I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised. So I hope you enjoyed my empties video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and have a great day. Bye-bye.